I'm Ben Linhoff, a graduate student in the MIT Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution joint program. And I'm Andrew Tedstone, a graduate student from the University of Edinburgh in the UK. We're studying the impacts of climate change on the Greenland ice sheet, and we want to show you just how much ice melt is occurring this year. Our field site is Leverett Glacier, which you can see in the distance with the ice sheet stretching beyond. During the summer, the frozen river in the foreground is composed entirely of ice melt. We measure ice melt discharge through the gorge below. The river is too dangerous to use standard river monitoring techniques, so instead we inject rhodamine dye. This fluoresces at a specific wavelength detectable by an instrument called a fluorometer. The amount of dye detected enables us to estimate discharge, which correlates to ice melt. And shown here is the river before melting has kicked off. By late June, the river is swollen with ice melt and the glacier is calving as it accelerates, producing these small icebergs. Unusually warm weather and strong warm winds led to record ice melt this year. Downriver in the town of Kangalusak, the main bridge was washed away. As July progressed, the river grew until it became too dangerous to inject dye at the top of the waterfall. Here's Andrew injecting dye during peak discharge. Our initial estimates suggest that for several weeks, more ice was melting at once than we've ever observed before. 